Okay, so test 11F, these three questions, okay? So let's go to page 171 of your textbook. The first one, question 29. Let me read the question for us. Mm. Find the energy in kilowatt hour consumed in 10 hours by four devices, each of power, power 500 watt each. So here, Mm. Let us write here. Uh, here, we can simply do like this. I think NRG, or we can just simply put us total NRG consumed. Let us say. Let us put it as E, and you know. Uh, P is equal to E or the blue by T. So shifting this T from the denominator, you will go and multiply the P on the numerator. So the formula for energy is P into T power into time. Now there are four devices. So for the power, four devices, each of 500 watt. So when you multiply the number of devices into the power each, possesses then that is the total p right into they were switched on for 10 hours so time is 10 hours simple as that right as simple as that and four fives are 20 one two three more zeros so one three zeros and here what hour i'll go to the question and the question is saying give in our, the energy consuming KWH. So for that we have been doing even in the previous sums also. So we know one kilowatt is equal to thousand watt, right? So there's just changing the watt to kilowatt means smaller to bigger. So we would have to divide. In such a case, smaller to bigger means divide because the conversion factor is thousand divide by thousand. And the blue, therefore, will be replaced by K, the blue, because we have divided by the factor 1000, right? So, sorry, 1000, right? So, an hour remains the same. This is not changed. So, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3 means total energy consumed in K, the blue H is 20. K, the blue H, right? That's the first answer question 29 so let's go to the next one the next one is question number two let us see here uh, one kg mass has <coughs> kinetic energy one joule so here as we read the question just now m is one kg so that is the mass has kinetic energy means the kinetic energy usually the abbreviated as ek in your textbook is one joule the question is saying so these two informations are given and then we would have to find the speed in other words the velocity so v is equal to question mark is the speed or the velocity now we know in this chapter the two main equations are kinetic energy is half mv square and potential energy ep is mgh in this case we are using kinetic energy as you can see so half mv square so keep that in our mind and we proceed as since it is given ek is equal to one joule just writing what is given in the question right so here it gives you here ek is half mv square we replace this ek by half mv square and this need not change the same thing one joule is written so it's just a matter of putting the right values in the right places m is one kg so we do so by putting one kg in place of m into v square that's what we're trying to find v i mean one joule the same thing so if you were to write your v square and shift the rest you're going to get here one joule 
divided by this 1 kg numerator will come down, 2 down will go up. Right, so that is so far. Uh, it, 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 like this so far, I mean. So here, as we proceed, we are going to get here v square is equal to. Now you see here, we learn, we know that Newton meter can be changed to joule as simple. So the reverse will also be true, right? Joule here, one joule can be replaced by Newton meter into two divided by here one kg. We will soon find out why we are changing back joule to newton meter. The reason is this, v square is equal to, now we know that newton is kg meter per second square. We know that newton is kg meter per second square. So we are replacing the newton by kg meter per second square into, listen carefully to that, okay, in, oh, sorry, before that into, meter per second square, newton, and then another meter is there, so we just put the meter as it was in the previous step into 2 divided by, now we know why we are changing back joule to newton meter and newton back to kg, so that we can cancel out this kg, right. So having done that, <coughs> the next step is just a matter of removing the square, then we know root comes. Agree? Okay. So here, 1 into 2 would become, as you can see here the numbers, 1, 2 are 2, then here meter into meter, meter square, and here second to the power minus 2. So it's just a matter of finding out the value of root 2 by division method, which is 2 means 2 points, so after decimal point is the decimal part, so in root square root division, at least 2 digits should be there, so we put, if there are no digits, we put zeros ourselves. In the decimal part, there should be no single digit, so we have to put double zero, double zero. In the integral part means on the left of point, integral part, we mark the Chinese way like this. The small part, we go from left to right like this. And integral part from right to left. Integral part, single digit can be there. Only one, so we can do that. Now square root division is, multiply a number to itself, one one zero. And should come out lesser than this or equal to this. Equal is not possible. If you go 2, then 2, 2 is our 4 becomes greater than 2. So it should be below or exactly equal to this number. So whatever number you used here, it should be here. So what number you used, put it here and add it. 1 plus 1, 2. Point here means we put here. Then here, 2 minus 1, 1 remainder. Point is here. We shouldn't put point here. Now bring down the next period means under the bar the double digit. Not like the normal division where we bring one one, but uh, at a time we should bring all the digits under one period or one bar. Okay, so here uh, four will go, I think. Four means you have to put here four. Four fours are 16, four twos are eight plus one nine. Five would be too much, one to be five. Right, it should be lower than the upper number or equal. Equal is not possible, so lower. Whatever number we put here, we put here as we did here to add 24 plus 4 is 28. Then here 4 remainder and 9 minus 9. That's all I think. The next period is this one, bring it down. Here we brought down. No. 2 is going to be too much, so 1 into 1. So root 2 value is approximately 1.41. Meter square will come out of the root as meter. Second to the power minus 2 will come out as second to the power minus 1. So that will be here. First and second place of the decimal is second place is less than 5, then the first place will not change 1.4 meter per second approximately. Now if you look into your text, the answer that matches this is choice number 3. So this is the correct one, 1.4 meter per second. Right, so uh, question number 2. One more question before we complete this test part. So let us go to question number three. Question number three. Okay. Object mass one kg. So here, m is equal to one kg is the mass. 
So next year, potential energy, one joule. So that means potential energy EP is one joule. When it's uh, relative to the ground, when its height is, so the height of the object is, we know it is denoted by H, question mark, is the height above the ground. So the object would have been something like this, above the ground. This is the ground level, and this is the H. The energy stored in an object raised above the ground level is called potential energy, right? Due to the position above the ground. So here, we have here since, question is saying, potential energy value is given as one joule, we write so. Just like it is given in the question, I mean. The formula for EP is, we know, MGH, right? Is equal to one joule. So here we may slightly put your G is equal to, I think the textbook is using 9.8, wherever it's not given, usually we use 9.8 meter per second square. Sometimes they use 10, but if they don't give, we usually use 9.8. So G is there. Now next year, M is 1 kg, and the G is 9.8, as you can see here, meter per second square into H is unknown, and equal to 1 joule, the same thing. So we write as it is for the right side. Next year, um, H, just write that, equal to 1 joule here, and up 1 kg will come down, up 9.8 will come down, meter per second square, like this. Okay, so here, again the reverse process we're going to go, have to do now, so we go about doing that. That'll be equal to here. J can be changed to Newton meter. Then here, 1 kg into 9.8 meter per second square. So here, Newton can be changed to kg meter per second square into meter. Same thing meter here. Newton is this. We changing in the reverse way. Usually we change kg meter per second square to Newton, but we can go reverse, right? We can, if we can go front, then we can also go back, right? So next year, one kg, as it is, we write it there, 9.8 meter per second square. Why we did this conversion is because we can cancel out kg, kg, meter and meter, second square, second to the power minus two gone. So we're going to be left, we're going to be left with one divided by 9.8 and only meter left which is the height above the ground so one decimal place in the denominator 0.8 so one zero to remove that so multiply this zero then zero will shift this decimal to the right so it will become 98 then here 10 ones are 10 so 10 by 98 meter we're getting so it's just a matter of dividing 10 by 98 which shouldn't be difficult Right, because simple division only we're going to apply. So 10 is the dividend and 98 is the divisor. Right. Since 10 is smaller than 98, we put 0 point and 100. 98 ones are 98. 2 remains. Point means 1, 0 you can put. Listen carefully to this. Even after putting the 0, the 20 is lesser than 98. Divisor means we put one more 0 in here. Then now it is greater than this. So we put here 2, 2 is a 16, 2 nines are 18, 19. So 4 remains, right? So that will be enough, I think. Third place, at least up to the third place we have got. Or we can go to fourth place if you want. Here, see. Point means we are allowed to put the 0. Still 40 is less than 98 means. Put here 0 and 0. Now since we have reached the third place, we can stop there. And we can go about writing here, approximately 0 0.1020 meter. We're going to the fourth place, why? Because textbook has taken up to the third place. That way, the fourth place of the symbol is less than 5 means the third place will not change 0 0.102 meter. We wrote like this because the textbook answer is given in up to the third place. Now the textbook answer that matches this is choice number one which is exactly 0 0.102 meter. 
So that's our answer. So all the three questions are done. You can now go and give the test. This is the last test, 11F of this chapter. Next, we'll go to chapter 12 from the next class, okay? Okay.